Question 18. ABCD is a quadrilateral, so it's just four sides. E, F, G, and H are the midpoints of A, B, B, C, C, D, and D, A. And they're already on. They're halfway along these lines. A to H is A. So A to H, we can write that vector as A. And we know this is the midpoint, so there to there will also be A. A to E is B, so there to there is B. And the same thing will apply here, that will also be B. D to G is C, so that will be C, and that will also be C. Prove using vectors that E, F, G, H is a parallelogram. So we're trying to prove that this E, F, G, H is a parallelogram. What's the definition of a parallelogram? So parallelograms are very similar to squash rectangles where we have two pairs of parallel sides and we have two pairs of equal sides. So that's what we're going to have to prove. We're going to have to find all of these sides. Let's do the easy ones first that don't have the B, F or C in because we have these vectors. So we'll do E, H and H, G first. So we're going to find these two. These two will be quite simple because we have the vectors for these. So E to H we're going minus b because we're going backwards, so minus b plus a. I'll rewrite that as a minus b. h to g is a plus c. The next ones we need are gf and ef, but we don't have this vector bc, so we're going to have to find that first. We can't go directly from b to c through f, so we're going to have to go all the way around. By finding bc, going all the way around, to a is minus 2b, to d is plus 2a, and then to C is plus 2C. I'll rewrite that as 2A plus 2C minus 2B. And if I think about it, from there to there is this, so half of it will be B to F. So I'm going to divide all of this by 2, and B to F will be A plus C minus B, and F to C will also be the same thing, A plus C minus B. So now the two vectors that I need to find, I already did E, H, and H, G. I need to find E, F, and F, G. So E, F, and F, G. E to F, we're going to go up to B, so it's B plus A plus C minus B, A plus C minus B. And these Bs will cancel each other out, so we're just left with A plus C. F, G, we're going F to G, so we're doing A plus C minus B. And then we're going C to G, so we're going backwards, so it's minus C. And these Cs will also cancel out, so A minus B for that one. And now I can see that EH is the same as FG. And I can see HG is the same as EF. And that's telling me that EFGH is a parallelogram.